But yeah, but not only that. Okay, so imagine you went to bed. It was 8 p.m. You fall asleep. You have no consciousness. And suddenly you wake up and it's 6 a.m. You're in a total different place. Emergency vessel four. Hey Simon, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. What have we got to lose at this point? Sorry, it's dead. Where's the shot? The CV came from a Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. There. Should help you get it around. So... Okay, so where am I going, though? Am I going back in, or am I go? I'm gonna go this way. Like, hey, you! I'm going... I've been playing for over two hours. Wait, is that Bubble Butt? Nope. Credit goes to Markiplier for calling him Bubble Butt, by the way. Wait a second. Shouldn't I have unlimited sprint? I'm a robot. All right, follow the green lights. But I mean, yeah, if I'm a robot, why should I run out of breath as I sprint? I'm just gonna follow the green lights and hope Look at the fish. I love it. Oh, jeez. Run the other way. Back the way we came. Not the right way. Okay. So don't go that way. Well, I really have no other way to go. But yeah, okay, like I said, I am not one for horror games. I am loving this one. Because the threat of something is always there, even if the thing is not there. They did a great job at this. The threat of something is more scary than the thing itself. It really is. And that's what I'm loving about this game. There's something out there that wants to kill me. I rarely see it, but when I do, it is terrifying. But the idea, what are these? Oh, crabs. But the idea that it could be there is much more scary than it actually being there, and I love it. Can't go that way. I want to find Bubble Butt. <clears throat> Bubble Butt's my friend. Okay, made it here without dying. Swipe the tool. Yeah, I, you know, I'm not even sure who made this. Okay, I remember this from watching a playthrough. I'm not sure who made this game, but they did a fantastic job on it. The environment is amazing. The, I mean, I love it. The story is amazing. Okay, up here, can I crouch? Okay. Yeah, the environment is made. The story is amazing. The, the, the idea that it makes you think is amazing. Everything about this game, I just, I love. And again, I'm not one usually for horror games, but 
I love it. After this, wait, is this the way I wanted to go? After this, I may become a fan of, of scary games. This may be the game. Is just looking away from it enough? I don't know. But I want to see it. She told me not to look at it, though. But this may be the game that catapults me into scary games because I, I'm loving it. The whole idea of this is, is I love it. Like I said before, I kind of want to just rush it so I can see it. Because again, the idea of the thing is more scary than the thing itself. I'm willing to bet the threat is over. Yep, there it goes. I don't know what's after me because I can't look at it. But here's the thing. Does it want to kill me? I don't think it wants to kill me. It doesn't. Oh, I got a flashlight. It doesn't help. That one woman said, Amy said, it won't let me die. It doesn't want to kill me. I don't know. Wow. This is... The world building on this is incredible. I don't even know if I'm going the right way, but I love this. Okay. Time to give some credit to the... Uh, to whoever composed the music. That was perfect. Where am I even going? Yeah, whoever composed this music, brilliant. I cannot laud this game enough on its cinematics. I'm hoping C1, C2, and C3 are still watching because this is an amazing game. I want to know more. Like I said, I know the overall story. I know the overarching story, but there's so much that I don't know, and, and this game just makes me want to know more. Can I go up in here? Is this a place I can go? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. I think I found what I need to find, but I'm not sure. Is that a shark? That's a hammerhead shark. Nice. I cannot praise this game enough. It has drawn me in like very few games have before. I just, I, I want to complete it. I've been playing for over two hours straight. There's going to be an enemy up here, isn't there? There sure is. I'm going to have to run. That's locked. But look at that. I mean, just the detail is amazing guessing this one's yet yeah, locked well where do I go from here oh I can go up another way maybe I don't know I can go this way. Nope, I cannot. Okay, 
where do I go? Okay, this is where I came up. And I do like how it's not hand fed to me. Like I actually had to go and figure out some things. Like I'm doing right now. Oh, okay, can't go up there? I like how I actually have to figure stuff out. Hmm. Okay, there's an invisible wall there. Can't go up there. Can't go up there. I've, I've got to continue up somehow. But how? I mean, I, I figure it's that way. Can I just jump there? No. Can I just fall down? Or is this, that's the way I came in, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Dang it. <clears throat> Notice my hands are not hands anymore. I mean, obviously. Okay, so how do I continue on? I've got to get up there somehow. Not with the invisible wall. I'm pretty sure that's the way. I just don't know how to get there. Okay, crouch jumping doesn't work. Not in this game. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Oops. This isn't the way I meant to go. Yep, time to climb back up the ladder. I mean, the thing is, in reality, you'd think I could just swim up there. There's got to be something I'm missing. The music is now distracting. I was just praising the music a second ago. Now I'm like, oh, it's distracting. Okay, I can't jump up under the rail there. Okay, I'm trying to go in there. And I fall. Okay, time to go. Back up the ladder. Yeah. 
I am definitely missing something, but I can't tell you what it is. I mean, that looks like a way to go. But I can't jump up over the railing that way. Who put platforming in my... Yeah, who put platforming in my horror game? There's no switches I'm missing, is there? I mean, there's that, but I can't do anything with it. Nope, can't get up there. So what do I do? Oh. That door opened. What the heck? I can't believe I missed something so easy. Okay, up seems the way to go. Uh, up is the way to go. <clears throat> but like I was saying, this game may be the one to launch me into playing scary video games. Before this one, I never really did. But this one is done so well. Oh, I had some, I've got some frame rate issues going on here. Okay, freeze. But this is, this game is so well done. I am loving this game. Okay, is it fine now? Looks like it may be fine. Nope, it's saving. All right, we're in. Let's find a working escape vessel. I would guess that the reason it's saved is I'm about to die. Yeah, I'm getting lots of lag here. But listen to his breath. It's like, dude, you're a robot. You don't have to breathe anymore. Hey, I can turn my light on. There was something bad in there. <laughs> Look away, hope it doesn't kill me. As long as I don't look at it, <laughs> am I safe? I don't quite get it. And it just looks like a head with a man with a disco ball in his head. Is that all it is? Like I said, a part of me just wants to run up to him. And just face him. So I'm no longer scared. The sky is pitch black with smoke. The ocean is dark. Incredibly dark. 
That was kind of cool. I don't know where he is. Now we're getting some more story. I don't know what this thing is. In a way that makes it more scary. Okay, as long as I don't look at him. Oh, here's a dead end. I don't know what to do. I mean, like I said, is it okay? Does he not hurt me as long as I don't look at him? The music faded. So I, I don't know what to do because... I'm not looking at him. It's, I don't know. It's almost like the monster's under your bed. It's okay as long as you don't look at him. Can I just run and hide? Oops, I just kicked my microphone stand. It's like, you can't see me because I can't see you, kind of thing. Am I even going the right way? I don't even know. That looks like something I can use. I think I went the right way? We'll find out. You can't get me, I'm climbing a ladder. And I'm not looking at you. Boom. Okay. I don't know what there is to do here. I guess go this way. Just keep trying to go higher. Oh, hey. I found something. Yeah, I get this thing moving. Uh, uh, wait, what? Safety locks are blocking the vessel's release. Are you kidding? How much more of an emergency could this ship be in? It's on the bottom of the sea. Take a look at the engine room and see if you can figure it out. Maybe there's an override or something. Uh, of course. There's monsters out there. Like the ones we saw at Lambda. The more reason to get going. What? Come on, you know the drill. Don't look at them or get too close. It'll mess with your circuits. Oh, shit. So we need to get out of here. I know, I know, I'm going. Okay, so 
Yeah, the monsters are only scary if I look at them. I've got to get to the engine room. Who knows where that is? Doesn't look like an engine room to me. So this whole thing is based on, don't get too close, don't look at it. Such a weird monster. Is it okay if I don't look at it? Is it safe now? I don't get it. I don't get it. I have no clue what I'm doing, but this doesn't seem like the engine room to me. How do I get to the engine room? Oh, hey, here's something to touch or to stick my fist in. I still don't know what that does. I mean, it'd be nice if I got rid of the monster. Gotta find the engine room. Nope, this doesn't look like the engine room. Now, again, from a game development standpoint, this game is absolutely incredible. I just wish I knew more. Okay. I'm about to contradict myself here. Oh, here, here's the engine room. Oh, hey. Hey, you guys. I think I died. Yep, you died. So I am pressing any button. I am both glad and wish that they gave me more info. Like both ways. I'm like, I'm glad that they don't hold my hand. But on the other hand, I do wish I had a little bit more info about what was going on. Like, there's times that I am totally lost, and that is good, and it is bad. I mean, it's hard to... Okay, well, here I am. You know what? I guess I want to go this way. So let's start here.
I think I'm going the right way. Oh, I'm gonna die. the wrong way. I couldn't remember which way to go. Guess I'll try this again. I couldn't remember which way to go, dang it. I went too far and fell too far. What is this way, anyway? Okay, nothing. Okay. Okay, I have to be ready to run. Ready? Here we go. here I remember this oh, I'm gonna die that was not the way to go oops I can't remember the way to go I think I may need to just retrace my steps before I do this. And I can't remember which way to go, so I run this way. Okay. I come out here. And I go left, yes. Okay. Don't go that way. So I do go downstairs. Yes. Okay. Once I'm downstairs, I take a left through here. I go out here. Then I go down here. And I take a left. I was so close. It really scared me. I thought I was going to be trapped here forever. Attention crew, this is your captain speaking. So now I remember which way to go. <clears throat> okay. So I remember which way to go now. <laughs> Oops. Warning. Reactor 
All right, let's see if I can do it this time. We can do it. We run down here. We go left. We go downstairs. We get caught on that, dang it. We go downstairs. We go through the engine room. We move here. And we go here. Okay, I'm in. Okay, we made it. Might be a jump scare first. I don't know. We'll see. Screen's freezing up as the water's pumping out. Can I sit down? 